Hi everyone, this is Matt. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to introduce you to UPDF, which is a document management software powered by AI that runs on Windows, Android, and Apple products. And you can use this with a single account across all the devices. So when you open it on your, on your well, in my case, on your, on your laptop, on your Windows, then this is, this is what you see. So this, so this is the starting menu and we, we can drop files right here. These are my recent files that I, I, I uploaded. And also on the left hand side, I have access to my UPDF cloud, PDF tools. So I can see all of the tools straight here and also batch PDF, which is really useful because you can convert multiple PDFs. You can combine multiple PDFs, encrypt them, print them, whatever you want to do. So that's really cool. But let me show you how it works with a single file. Right. So as you start, it basically works like Mendeley or Zotero, right? I can make this a little bit bigger and so on. And I can read this paper. I can make a slideshow out of it right here. But it also has the AI features and I want to start with them. So I already asked some questions before, but look, as I highlight text, I get UPDF AI, summarize, translate to multiple languages, and then explain. So I get this straight away. I have the ask PDF function here and chat. Ask PDF is when you ask questions about the paper itself, and it works very nicely. It gives you all the answers, or it extracts all the information out of a PDF, right? And here I just got a summary of a paper, which is which is pretty long, but it's in bullet points and um, it actually covers the paper fully. And then I have this chat version here, right? Okay. And chat is like chat GPT. So you, you ask questions and it gives you answers, which are not just based on the PDF, but just based on the internet sources. And it is limited with information up to October 2023. Right, so it is pretty much up to date, and obviously, as UPDF gets updated, then the, the UPDF AI gets updated as well, and that date, you know, moves in time closer to um, to today. So I have here prompt, explain, translate, summarize, but I can literally type in whatever I want and ask questions here, and it works very nicely. So this is the this is the PDF the AI functions, and then. Let me show you what else we have here. We have an OCR. So for example, when you have you have a scanned PDF and you want to make it editable, then you need to use the OCR function. So let me quickly show you. So if I run to edit PDF right here, you can see anywhere here, I can just start writing. Yeah, I can, I can do all of that. I can write here, I can write here. But here about nature communications, I can't. This is a scanned image. However, interestingly, I can shift it. And that is definitely a massive difference between this editor compared to all the others I tested. This is actually, this is much better. I can even change these little things, which is very impressive. But that nature communications, I can't because it's scanned. So the way to be able to edit this, I have to go to the OCR function and then select that I just want to do it on the current page perform OCR and a few seconds later, I will be able to edit this. Nevertheless, very impressive. And since we're talking about editing, um, it's not just editing text, but it's also editing images that works very nicely. Look, you can click on an image and look at that. I can shift it. Control C, Control V. I have two of them. Right click, replace image, crop, extract, rotate, delete, all of that. This is very, very useful, very advanced. It works with anything, even it recognizes the difference between this blot here, this is a Western blot, and this square that I've um, drawn separately. So that is very, very cool. I really like that. And you can also add links to, to the PDFs. Also very useful feature. When we, I have all the export functions, so I can export this PDF to Word, PowerPoint, Excel, CSV, image, and so on. Lots of options. And then I can very easily add a password, which I think is really useful when you want to keep your files safe. And we often do. So first of all, this option will um, set a password for the document. So you, you can't open the document without the password. And then you can also set permissions. Very nice feature. 
So you can restrict editing and printing of a PDF. And then we have sharing functions right there. So I can share this easily with other people. I can create a link. I can email this to other people right here. And then I can save it as other document, right? Lots of different features, very useful. Here in, in the comment function, it's just like Mendeley or Zotero where you can highlight and you can leave comments and so on. Um, but then if you click prepare form, you can, you can add these, these check boxes or these buttons and so on. But what is really nice here is that you can add digital signatures. I think that is very, very useful, right? And then we have the redact functions. So for example, if I go to the top and I wanted to redact my name, this is how I can do it. But you know, if I couldn't find my name or I just wanted to find multiple instances of my name and redact it, I can also use this function, find text and redact. I can search and then redact whatever it is that I want. And then once you do this, all you need to do is just to apply continue and now this is saved okay then we have the organize pages function so you can insert replace extract split pages crop pages that's another function there um, and finally we have the page tools so you can add a watermark you can add a background header or footer so for example you could add a watermark running across saying that this is a draft version of the document so this is this is what you can get with your pdf it's a very powerful ai functions that work a lot like um chat pdf and chat gpt and then all of the mendeley or zotero type of functionalities with commenting and then editing like adobe acrobat um so if you're interested in this product um, check it out you can download it for free using the link in the description down below there is a free trial to, to test this. There are also some paid plans available and there is also a discount in the description down below if you're interested in the paid plans. And as always, if you benefit from this, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.